Hey, welcome back, Barbarians, to another Destiny 2 video. Today we're going to be talking about the Vex Mythoclass. A lot of changes coming to it. Um, we're going to talk about it all around in Destiny, PvE, PvP, and why in Season 15 it is going to be an excellent choice for the energy slot, and it's going to go back to, I think it's Destiny 1 kind of feels uh, really strong. So the new version kind of acts like an auto rifle, however when you get overcharge, it increases the stability of the auto rifle effect. However, you can hold the reload button to switch modes and turn it into a linear fusion rifle, one tapping guardians in the crucible, or decimating an opponent in PvE. Alright, so there's a lot of changes coming in Season 15 to weapons. Um, and different balancing options. I think a lot of stuff is going to get re-highlighted here, but I'm excited to talk about Vex in this video. Um, <clears throat> Vex Mythoclast, these are the changes for this exotic in particular. We were cautious with tuning this one at launch, knowing the shipment of a dominant weapon that has incredibly low ownership would break PvP and aim for balancing, balanced, um, but erring on the side of not letting it ship too strong. However, it fell too short of balanced. Ownership is much higher now, and we want it to be strong enough to be desirable reward from Vault of Glass. PvE damage bonus increased by 40%. Range stat increased to be near best in class for high impact auto rifles. Wow. Increased stability stat. Rework catalyst to grant stability and damage after kill. Wow. Increased the rate of fire from 360 to 390. Reduced linear fusion rifle mod charge time from 820 to 533. Same as standard linear fusion rifles. No longer loses overcharge stacks uh, on stowing it when in linear fusion rifle mode. Um, okay, so that was a lot of good stuff here. I'll leave it on the screen just for a little bit so you can look it over. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and discuss some of these. Alright, so just to start off, I think it's interesting that... Um, you know, from the start they wanted, from its release within the Vault of Glass, they didn't want it to become too strong, knowing that it was a relatively low drop, a new activity, um, a new raid usually has low percentage, not only that people that complete it, but on top of that you also have your percentage of people that get the weapon, which, you know, the rarest weapon <clears throat> within the raid, um, aside from uh, original Vault of Glass Fusion Rifle, um, lol for all you vets out there. So, before we go any further, um, talk about it in some of the other changes please make sure to leave a like comment um, please subscribe to the channel I'm gonna be posting more consistent content throughout <clears throat> and uh, yeah so in PvP here this is all the gameplay I have uh, I'm just showing this game today with it I don't get a lot of kills with it um, but just a good overall game in PvP and I do have it equipped so I thought I would upload this um, while I do my kind of review of some of the changes that timing on that was just just beautiful if I do say so stole my special wasn't really mine but um, just as a quick side note I'm practicing with inertia override um, yeah that was a good choice just knowing it's going to get buffed soon um, so yeah just getting used to sliding over a special etc so back to Vex the so many changes the increased damage the after each kill, the increase to range stat, the increase to stability stat, um, the catalyst rework, that's so the increase to PvE opponents 40%. That's <clears throat> very significant. Um, but in PvP directly, you know, there was a couple things that changed there. You know, I think increased damage after a kill, which was stated, I believe, in my mind, would act like you know, something like uh, Rampage. I have no idea, but uh, I don't know if it stacks. I don't know if it's just after your, the first kill you get, and then there's a static, you know, damage increase from there. Um, I'll be curious to see what that's like in PvP. The stability increase, whether the catalyst or not, <clears throat> is definitely going to be nice. Um, and then, of course, with the increased range stat, you know, and the increased stability, you're going to be landing higher damage numbers at longer ranges, just making it a more reliable and consistent weapon um, to really get it into that overcharge, overcharge mode um, where it seems like it's going to shine even more um, when it comes to these changes that come out tomorrow, if you're watching this on Monday. Um, you know, the decreased charge time, which I think there was only one 
Yeah, the only alteration to the auto rifle itself is it has a little bit slower, I oh know, a little bit quicker rate of fire. So it went from 390 to 360, I believe. Um, oh, that would be slower. Or 360 to 390. Anyway, and then the uh, linear charge time itself getting decreased, uh, I think is a nice change. You know, something like Vex class. The way the hitbox works, in, at least in my opinion, with Vex feels a lot like Arbalest. It's pretty arbitrary. Um, you aim near their head, you get the headshot. It's it's kind of wild, um, but such is life. So yeah, I think this thing, if you do have it from the Vault of Glass, even if you don't have the Catalyst, I think this thing is going to be an absolute monster in PvE uh, when it comes out, <clears throat> uh, when the changes um, come out at least. In PvP, you know, overall, I don't think it's going to see more play. It's not going to be the meta, but I think it's going to be viable. So I think there's something to be said there. You look at a gun like Suros Regime. Yes, it was in the meta. It had its time to shine, but then it went away. Um, and now I think Vex, we're going to see poss possibly the same thing. You know, no damage increase in PvP, which I think is smart. You know, when you do land your crits now, um, it kills pretty fast. So I got a little salty here, so I figured I'd kill him. Um, yeah, it's just uh, good changes to this exotic overall. Very happy with the uh, the patch notes regarding this one. Um, you know, and I I thought it felt felt okay. I, I did get it day one, I believe, or day two. Um, but these changes, I mean, that's moving in the right direction. You know, you truly want exotic, especially ones of this notoriety and caliber, to truly feel special, especially for the time players put in. Uh, in order to grab these weapons, which, you know, it's it's takes time. Um, and I, I want exotics to not only just be another addition to my collection, but I want them to feel strong enough to at least use. You know, you don't want to pick up an exotic just to have it. Um, you truly want that unique characteristic that it has. So changes overall to Vex the class I think are very good. Um, needed for sure. Curious how they're going to work out. Um, Please feel free, let me know in the comments below whether it's Vex you're excited about or any other weapon changes or archetype changes coming in Season 15. There are a ton of them. Um, and before you jump to conclusions, I would say just wait, play with the new kind of sandbox. It's going to be a blast. Um, and until next time, I'll leave you with the end of this this game here. Kind of kill a bunch of people um, and finish out the game. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I love it. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. Your strength is an inspiration to us all, Titan. Victory is all I ask. Good. Your victory gives the city hope, Guardian.